Hey everyone, this video has been requested by Scotty Nugent, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And in this video I'm going to show you how to send Neo to your Nano and also how to send it out. And I'm going to be using a new one and I'll be sending between the two, which is the same as sending from an exchange to a Nano. I'll also be uh, showing you how to do that with ERC20 tokens as well. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing you need to get is the app for the Nano Ledger S and this is a manager. Okay, so if you come to ledgerwallet.com and then click on apps, then if you scroll down, you'll notice that it says Ledger Manager. Click on Ledger Manager and scroll down and install. Now this will install into Chrome. I already have it, okay, installed. So I'm just gonna launch app. Let me just get this out of the way. Now, we need to connect the ledger. Okay, so I'm just gonna connect that up here. Okay, and put my pin in. Okay, so once that's in there, right, it's updating the store. Now, to get Neo working, uh, because it doesn't come by default, we just need to give it a scroll down and there's Neo here, okay, and then just click on the little arrow, right. Now you'll see on your ledger that you need to allow it, so you just click on the little tick, which I've done. It's now installing it. Processing and we're done. So now we have a Neo address on the ledger. Okay, so in this next part of the video, we're going to have a look at uh, the Neon wallet. When it comes to sending transactions out from your Nano Ledger S Neo address, the Neon wallet created by the City of Zion developers is the best one to use. In fact, I think it's probably the only one to use that's. Uh, that's decent and that actually shows you all your token balances. Just remember to keep up the latest version uh, because quite often you'll find that they are adding new tokens that will be displayed. You can display them manually, you can you know, add the hash and display them manually, but it does pay to keep the latest version installed on your computer. So let's have a look at the Neon Wallet. So the first thing you'll need to do is navigate to the URL for the Neon Wallet. I'll leave a link to that in the description and then just choose your operating system. I'm running Windows, so I have already installed it and I've got it open. I've got a notepad here just so we can put the address in. Now, there's all these different ways that you can log in, but obviously we want to log in using a ledger, so we're going to click on that. Now you can see that there's nothing found, so I'm going to plug my ledger in and then I'm going to put in the uh, pin code. And that one. Okay, now you'll see that your Neo app is closed, so you just need to make sure that you enable the Neo app on your ledger. So we'll double click that. Okay, and now we're in. So we'll click on Use Ledger Nano. Okay, so as you can see, it's totally empty, brand new. So we'll go to Receive, and we will copy this address, and just paste it in here, okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send some Neo to this address, okay? Now, all you need is the address. So you can send Neo from an exchange, you can send it from, uh, you can get somebody else to send it, you can send it from another Nano if you've got one, which I have, so that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. I am now gonna log out of this Nano, and I'm gonna log into my other one, and I'm gonna put the pin in for this. Yeah, and there, and there, and there. Okay, and now I just need to wake up Neo here. Wake up Neo, and log in using Ledger. We should be good to go. Okay, so this should open. It's been a second here. 
Okay, so I'm going to send one Neo to this address. Okay, so I just need to go to send. I'm going to grab this address, put it in here. Just make sure that Neo is selected in your asset, and I just want to send one. Okay, and then just click on next. Always double check the address that it lines up with what you're sending to because you don't want to send it to, you know, obviously uh, somewhere random. Just click on agree, send assets. I've got to sign it on the device, double click on there, and we're good to go, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna log out. I'm gonna now take out this ledger and put in our new one that we just sent the uh, one Neo to. I'm gonna log back in here. Okay, wake up Neo, log in here, log into this one. Okay, now it hasn't arrived yet, but we will wait a second and I'm sure it will be here. Now, depending on the network, sometimes transaction can, transactions can take a while, sometimes they're quick. It all depends on what's going on with the Neo network. Um, I have found that sometimes it can take you know up to an hour or two, depending on what's going on. Um, I'll just refresh this. Okay, we've got one Neo actually showing here, um, but it's not, there, there we go, okay. So it's that simple. Now, if you wanna to send to any exchange address or anything, it's the same principle. You just go to send um, and then put the address. Uh, in actual fact, I have actually uh, have oh, it's been moved okay well anyway so basically what you do is just put in the uh, receivers address and then just send it the same okay so that's basically how you send to a neo address when it comes to sending ERC20 tokens out from your uh, nano ledger s I find that my etherwallet.com otherwise known as Mew is the most intuitive app to use browser app and that's because it shows all your tokens you can load all your token balances and it's just easier to use faster you can use the default app that comes with the nano ledger s or that you can install through chrome i just find Mew better so in this part of the video i'm going to show you how to use Mew to make transactions out from your nano ledger s okay so also make sure that in your manager in the app that you have actually installed the ethereum um, app onto your ledger, okay? So once you've done that, navigate to myetherwallet.com, okay? And you should get this to start with, all right? And make sure that you check that this is the HTTPS so that it's certified, because there is a lot of scam sites out there. Now what you need to do before you connect to the ledger wallet, you have to make sure that on your ledger, if you double click where it shows Ethereum and then go to scroll down and go to settings and then go down to browser support and then down to yes because if you do not allow this then you will not be able to connect to your ledger okay so let me just uh, X out of this now that I've enabled browser support I should be able to connect to ledger wallet and here we go so these are the Ethereum addresses that you have I'm just going to grab this top one and just copy that and I'm just going to paste that in there for now so this is the address that we can send any ER, ER20, ERC20 tokens to this includes anything like for example Chainlink um, anything that's ERC20 com, um, compatible compliant okay including Ethereum so it's quite simple. All you need to do is from your exchange, go to send and use this address. Now, when you want to send out, it's basically the same principle. Um, all we do is we go to send ether and tokens, okay? And then just click on ledger, connect to ledger wallet. Okay, now say for example, we have some ether or some tokens in this address here, we just select it and then unlock 
okay? And then if we have a theorem that we want to send to an address, we just put in the receiver address here, the amount we want to send, and if it's a token, uh, usually it will automatically select the gas limit for you, okay? Now, if you want to show all tokens, you just click on that, and anything that you have, you just click to load it, okay? And that will show the token balances. If you do not click on to load down here, it will not reflect it in here, okay? So you have to make sure that, if, for example, if you've got Chainlink on this, on this wallet, on your, your ledger, you need to actually load, you need to come down to uh, link down here, and you'd actually have to click click to load it, okay, and it will show your balance. Once it shows your balance here, it will then reflect that here, otherwise it won't, okay? So it's quite simple, sending and receiving from your ledger with NEO and ERC20 tokens. Now don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button so that uh, the more likes I get, then uh, the more the video goes viral and we can onboard new users. Now don't smash, be gentle and tap that notification bell. So as soon as I release any new video tutorials, you'll be notified straight away. Take care.